In today's video, we're going to talk about 16 things that I found on Amazon that can help the up and coming hitter, both in baseball and softball. Hi, I'm Andy Collins, the internet hitting coach, and on this channel we discuss hitting, coaching, and training tools, similar to the one that we're talking about today. Please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for notifications. The first item we see here is a net, and it actually comes with a couple of balls and even a strike zone for pitching, but if you're going to use this to have someone pitch to you and you're going to stand in front of it and call whether you've got a ball or a strike, you want to make sure that it's actual strike zone. So anyway, you will want to get a net. This one is the one Amazon recommends. Next, you've got a thing that throws fly balls, which I don't know why it's under hitting tools. But if you want it, it's there. This rope bat is really pretty interesting. It is great, especially if you are a coach and you wanted to create a, an extra station. Uh, and it's good. You know, we're always trying to find out how to move our bat through the zone. And this actually does that. You, the way you have to hit a ball with a rope that has this little sponge thing on the end is the correct way to swing, and that's great. I'm not quite excited that he needs to bump the price up to get, you know, by having to buy 12 balls, because really it's the rope bat itself that helps you learn the swing. We don't necessarily need to hit uh, balls. You would have to hit wiffle balls or something soft with this, the way this is done. Uh, you can't really hit a solid baseball or softball. The insider bat has a specific function. I have one of these and I use it when I have a student that rolls their wrists. So if you have a, a player that does or players on your team that do, then this is a decent product. Uh, if you don't have this product or don't have that problem, then it's really uh, extra. As we scroll down the page, we find these next four items. The, this power pod, I would actually use other items that I will reference later on uh, that I would use instead of this, so I'm just gonna pass on that. Here we have the insider bat again from a different person, and it's $10 cheaper, but then they have $10 for the shipping, and if you have a Prime account, you don't have to pay for the shipping, so they're roughly the same, so depending on who you wanna buy it from. Now this swing bat, I'm going to withhold judgment on it. I know a number of coaches that do use it. I have not personally used it, so I can't make a recommendation one way or another. This T is the actual one that I use for one-on-one -on -one coaching lessons. Uh, if you were a coach of a team that had a bunch of people hitting off of it, you may want one that's a little stronger, but this is perfect for anybody youth level and uh, just needs to get hundreds of swings in, this will be fine. I like the, um, it actually has kind of a foldable or a collapsible top so that if you hit it, uh, you're not uh, damaging the T itself like some of the cheaper ones that are solid rubber. As we scroll further down, we find these four items. And this first one, I can't tell from what the packaging is, what it even is. And I had to open the listing. And then from there, I still couldn't figure it out. And it sent me to a video and the video was not very good. 
<laughs> it was it's not a bad product once I figured out what it was but there's other ways electronically you can do some of this stuff this is a cheaper way to do a couple of things but um, it, it's really something's got to be done to fix this because uh, I would just pass on that and then now we get to another net and a couple of nets actually on this line and uh, if you notice the price is the same but you get different options so on this one you get a batting tee which is included where the other one you'd have to buy your batting tee extra the strike zone isn't quite as good and it isn't positioned quite right uh, but this uh, little carry caddy is really kind of fun because then you don't have to um, keep bending down to the ground to pick up your balls. You just have uh, 30 to 50, depending whether it's softballs or baseballs, that you put in the caddy. And then you um, use it, put it on the tee, hit away. So you've got pretty much a full station right here all in one. So I like that. Uh, I'll talk, I'll skip over the swing trainer for a minute and talk about the other one. The other one, of course, is a lot cheaper. It doesn't have any of the extras, but it is five by five and you need to know the difference between five by five and seven by seven. Uh, I've got students that are still hitting the ball over or around the seven by seven one. So you've got to be pretty good and pretty precise to hit into the five by five. So just uh, as a caution there, but cheaper net. And I think we all need a net of some sort, although you could just use a blanket or a sheet uh, to hit into. Back to the swing rail. Um, you know, it, this is, uh, it's the number one selling product on Amazon in a way, but I don't know of any a reasonable coach that recommends this product. It's a specialty product that fixes a certain problem. Um, so I guess they've done a great job marketing why anyone would need two rather than just one. Uh, I have heard that they do break a little bit. Maybe that's why you need two. So uh, again, this is something I would pass on personally. These hitting discs are kind of a controversial way to teach hitting. So I wouldn't get these unless your coach recommends them. Uh, they're only 20 bucks, so it's not a bad investment, but it would be $20 wasted if the coach told you to scrap them. He doesn't use them. The next one, I really like this. What it does is it uh, floats the ball up and you can use it for tennis or um, baseball, softball, anything that you would have a, a moving object hitting. I like when I teach, I like to go T, then some movement normally to toss, but this would be some movement. It just kind of floats in the air and, and bobs up and down. So you've got to hit it and adjust to it to make a solid contact. However, at 279, 280, um, I haven't bought one for myself, even though it would be a fun toy to have and certainly would give you an extra hitting station. And this Rod Carew baseball gap hitter, Rod Carew certainly is a great hitter and a Hall of Famer. Um, and hitting a ball, it's there and is great however i don't know why you couldn't just drill a hole through a tennis ball uh, tie a knot on the end or a washer and nut on it and then hook it to your garage someplace or a tree limb and achieve the same thing for less than eighty dollars of course this last item i really like i saw this at the softball convention and Lisa Fernandez was recommending it, who is just a real big stud Hall of Fame player. And uh, it's not just good for softball, but also great for baseball. 
in all positions. So it's hitting, fielding, pitching, any of these can be used where you use it to kind of feel the pressure on the inside ball of your foot, pushing off, landing, uh, all of these are come into play. And so if you are kind of a developing player, this wouldn't be the first item I would get, but if you're kind of moving up in skill, then these are great. So we've just reviewed 16 different items on hitting tools, training aids, and I would say that for sure you want to get, make sure they have a batting tee and a net. If they've already got those, I'd say I like the power wedges and the rope bat that will help them get the feel of a proper swing. Those will help the most. See you on the next video.